Time to turn over now to Chef Tracy with the wine market in the kitchen. Okay, so we got started with okay. this beautiful cantaloupe salad earlier. Looks delicious, but I smell something over there with perhaps some scallops, Tracy. Yeah, so um, I make the pasta in house for the most part, unless it's a weird shape. Um, so, <laughs> like that. <laughs> so it's a weird shape. Yeah, what um, kind of pasta is this? So, right now I've got a pepper dill. Um, right, pepper dill. Pepper dill. I have some dad sweet corn in here. I've got chanterelle mushrooms in here. Ooh, um, that using, sounds good. You know, all the seasonal goodies that we have out um, and some fresh scallops. So I started out with uh, sweating some shallot. That looks delicious. I'm a big fan of the white cream sauces and pasta. W what does this one have in it? This has, uh, like I said, shallots, garlic, uh, shallots, sweet corn. Garlic. Okay. Um, when I'm making a big batch, I'll take the corn cobs that, you know, I, I take the corn off of. Yeah. And, you know, cook so that all of that makes the, that that creamy? Yeah, and well, butter. And okay, and a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter. Or a lot of butter. <laughs> or, a, or a lot of butter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not hating. A lot of butter. Um, okay, too. Yeah, so uh, cream, heavy cream, salt, okay. and butter. So some kind heavy of cream, too. Yeah. The, you know, you don't the get to be stuff. this. Stuff. You know, aerodynamic. Tracy, that's what I say, too. And if you're going to have pasta, let's have some pasta. Have some pasta. Enjoy it. Yes. Um, you know, with. The way 2020 is going, you might as well eat what you love. <laughs> I'm telling you. So, um, continue. Papardelle, uh, nice little cream sauce there. Yeah, and, that looks good. Uh, Smells some good too. seared scallops. Okay, so scallops I feel like can be a bit tricky. Do you have any tips and or suggestions when it comes to cooking scallops at home? I know they can be a little bit intimidating. The, the key is a hot pan. Um, get that hot pan on there, okay. get a nice sear on it. What I look for is it to change colors. It kind of goes to that opaque color yeah. about three quarters of the way up. And when it hits that and I've got that nice little brown sear on there, yeah. I will flip them kill the heat and let that residual heat finish off the scallop for me. Because you can overcook those, right? They can you, become They will turn and into chewy? a rubber ball. Gordon Ramsay will call you a donkey. Um, and, you know, nobody needs that. Kind no one of, needs that in their life. Nobody needs that negativity no. in their life. No. no. no, no so, no. you know, my goal when I'm making scallops is not to be called a donkey by anybody. <laughs> no, I think that's a good goal. Um, so just sear the scallops, a little bit of salt to season okay. them. Uh, cooking the pappardelle, you can use fettuccine or spaghetti. This is great, you know, great with whatever. Yeah. Um, I make the pasta in house at the wine market, like I said, except for the weird shapes. Yes, yes. But um, and just finish it off. I got some nice uh, little microgreens from Full Hand Farms. That looks beautiful. Um, and it does make a difference, though, right? With that that fresh pasta. I mean, the regular yeah. pasta will work, but there is something that texture, that taste, the texture, about that homemade pasta. Um, and it's something with food. It's it's. You know, it's made with affection. It's made right. with love. It's and if it's love. something that, well, okay, it's it's made with strong like with me. <laughs> but um, I can't commit to love. Yeah, yeah, love. that's okay. That's okay. But, but you guys have brunch yeah. coming up too. We Tell do. Tell me about that. Uh, well, we we have brunch coming up. We have brunch. <laughs> what do you guys typically offer in terms of brunch menu options? So because this is really our first rollout with brunch, it's. Um, it's definitely going to be an evolving process. You'll okay. see some of the things off of the regular menu, the yeah. crab cakes that I make in house. Um, we're going to try some pancakes. Uh, we've got a couple of hash ideas. Ooh. Again, utilizing those things Absolutely. from the farmer's market. Uh, some baked good stuff. We'll have mm -hmm. scones. Um, yeah, a little bit of everything. Bit Do of you everything. have a favorite breakfast menu item? Do I? Yes, what but I it? have to wait for the fall. I like to make sausage. Oh. So I'll uh, make a chorizo sweet potato hash. Okay. Um, kind of a poached egg. That's my favorite. That sounds delicious. It really is. Poached egg on top or yeah. fried egg on top. So you guys do a lot of different seasonal items then yes. that we can all look forward to coming up? Yeah. Uh, try to keep the menu fresh as possible. That's that's so. exactly what, what all we want, right? Sure. Fresh, local, and delicious. Yes. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. your time. Of course, we'll have the information about this segment on IndyStyle.tv. Okay, guys, we are back right after this.